Well, hello there, folks. Last one from me, this one today, and it's about Harry Maguire. I've done something on him before, but I, I don't know. So I've heard something today that made me think twice, and, and I thought I'd like to air it. Um, you may have heard it yourself today. It was on Talk Sport today. They did a piece on Harry Maguire losing the captaincy at United and what his future holds and the fact that he's probably going to be away from United in the close season, which I would suspect he would be. Uh, and they had a caller, um, one caller, that rung and backed up Maguire. I think he was the only one that did. Not only did I think he was really eloquent, I thought most of the um, points he made were pretty much spot on. And it made me think, and it made me think even more about some of the things he said and some of the things I've called Maguire for. Now, now, let's not forget, I'm the person that run talks about a year, 18 months ago, and comparing Harry Maguire to Virgil van Dijk compared Shergar to Hercules. For those that don't know who Hercules is, Hercules was the horse that Harold and Albert Steptoe owned. Shergar was one of the greatest ever winners of the derby. Um, they are chalk and cheese, Van Dijk and Maguire. Um, but I didn't mind Maguire at the time. I said at the time, yes, he's slow. He's got the turning circle of a badge. But I liked a lot about his game. That was then. Unfortunately, over the last couple of years, as we've started to try and play out more from the back, and I don't mean just in uh, Ten Hag's time, I mean before that, the deficiencies of United's backline have been exposed time and again. But I wouldn't think it's down to just Maguire. In fact, I know it's not down to just Maguire. In fact, I've said in the past, De Gea was awful with the ball at his feet, and I mean absolutely awful. Luke Shaw isn't great with the ball at his feet. No matter what people tell me, I know he's an England international, he isn't great with the ball at his feet. Lindelof wasn't too bad with the ball at his feet. Not brilliant, not too bad. The other fullback is Juan Bissaka, probably the worst footballing fullback in the Premier League. Somebody today, one of the pundits today, said uh, Ten Hag has brought on Juan Bissaka. I keep hearing that. You're watching a different player than I'm watching, I'll tell you. He's attacked a little bit more. He offers nothing, absolutely nothing. I'm, I'm praying he's going to be gone in the close season. Doesn't look like he is, but I'm praying we get a proper full-back who can help his winger. I really am. Anyway, that's by the by. But wan first touch, abysmal. Passing, even worse. Absolutely horrendous. Harry Maguire out of the bat line, I would say he was the best with the ball at his feet. Got the best control and he's a good passer with the ball. What was happening though at United was because the passes he was getting from Shaw or whoever it may have been weren't brilliant, it was sometimes selling him short. Because the passes back from his goalkeeper were always awful and often short and in the wrong place, he couldn't get there. If he took one dodgy touch, Maguire, which can happen, although he's good with the ball at his feet, if the ball runs away from him or if he's crowded, he's had it. Because if somebody else takes the ball or the ball runs away and they're gone, he can't turn around and catch them. He can't. His pace really kills him. But I would suggest now with this new goalkeeper, who by all accounts and from what I've seen, is absolutely out of this world with the ball at his feet. We've got Martinez, who I think is fantastic with the ball at his feet. We've got Varane, who isn't at all bad with the ball at his feet. Um, he's got better options. Shaw is still there, and as I say, not brilliant with the ball at his feet. Malashevu often deputises for Shaw, and I want to see him there in time. He's great with the ball at his feet. Wambasaka, he's awful, but he's on the opposite side to um, Maguire as a rule. And hopefully, as I say, Wambasaka will be gone. But I think playing for United now, the new United, the better football at United, with an even better midfield, as in with Casemiro and uh, Mount in front of him, um, I think a lot of Maguire's deficiencies wouldn't be seen to the same extent. I don't think he'd get into trouble to the same extent. That said, I would still have Martinez and Varane in front of him, and if they were to sign another top-class centre-back, I would probably have Martinez and whoever that top-class centre-back might be in front of Maguire. I've said now for 18 months, if it were me, I'd have Maguire in the back three, three centre-backs as opposed to two, because then others can cover for his lack of pace. Uh, but I think Maguire in this United, as opposed to United of six months ago, would do better. Do I still want to see him gone? Yeah, probably. But it's only because we might get an upgraded centre-back, a centre-back with pace. Because United are always great with pace. And you want to see pace from 1 through to 11, um, rather than pace here, here there, and, and not everywhere. Maguire has a lack of that. But there's still a great player there. He proves it for England time and time and time again. He's a good defender. He's got a good football brain. He's normally good with the ball at his feet. And again, with England, he's had better distributors 
more co- people that are more comfortable on the ball playing with him than he gets at Man United. Um, which is why I think he's always looked well. Which is why abroad I think he'd do well. The pace of the game's different. They don't crowd you like they do here. Um, but they also asked, would he do well at any other Premier League uh, team? And I'll give you one here that I'll have some of my new fans absolutely spitting feathers and disagreeing with me with. They said, would he go to any other top four, top five team? They said, would he go to City? No, he, he won't get in City's team, the co-presenter said. Would he go to Liverpool? No, no, he won't get to Liverpool, the co-presenter said. I'll, re- I'll come back to that in a moment. Would he go to Chelsea? I think they mentioned Chelsea. Well, I think he'd get in there. There's nothing there at the moment. Arsenal, though, he probably wouldn't get in. And I think Spurs would take him. I think Spurs are probably going to be in for him, to be honest with you, along with Villa. So there's a couple he'd get in. I could even see him at Liverpool. Liverpool ain't going to go for him. Liverpool fans will say, absolutely no chance. We don't want him. Why would we want Hercules when we've got a Ferrari, when we've got Sugar? Well, that is why. You see, at Liverpool, you've got a, a manager with great tactical nows. You've got a great back four. You've got a goalkeeper who's brilliant with the ball at his feet and in hand. We never had that in De Gea. We've not got that anymore. But we're judging Maguire on past years rather than the here and now. You've got a goalkeeper that's fantastic with the ball at his feet. He spots danger quickly and comes out quickly. He, he's pretty quick the goal. He's great in all, all aspects. You've got Van Dijk, who for, for me hasn't been the same player since his injury, but he's still brilliant. He's got a Rolls-Royce of an engine. He's really, really quick. He can um, help Maguire's lack of pace. If Maguire gets run out of something, Van Dijk's there to save him. You've got two quick full-backs. You've got two full-backs who are really comfortable with the ball at the feet. So you've got a bat line there at Liverpool where they're all comfortable on the ball. You had a bat line at United that, collectively, they were awful on the ball. And a goalkeeper really, really shaky behind them. You've not got that shakiness at Anfield. I think you'd do a good job at Anfield. I don't particularly think your centre-backs with Van Dijk are brilliant. I don't think they're brilliant, a couple of them especially. I think you'd do a good job there. And at 30 million, he wouldn't be a bad buy either. Or is he 30? You'd get another four or five years out of him. All right, in four or five years, he might lose a bit of pace. No, he won't. You can't lose what you've not got, can you? Same with Harry Kane. You can't lose what you've not got. I think he'd do a good job there. Liverpool have never come in for him. But yeah, I think he'd do a job there. I think with the right centre-back uh, partner, um, and if Shaw can get better on the ball, and if they get rid of one bissaka he could still do all right at United. But yes, I do think he's going to be gone. And will I miss him? I've liked him, but he's not been good enough and he's been found out too much. But as I say, I think he's been found out too much because of the back line he's played with. They've given him no confidence. And when you've got no confidence yourself and you're slow, it's a worry because you're worried every time you fumble, it's going to be magnified. It's going to be people on you. They crowd him and whatever else. That wouldn't happen with this goalkeeper. I'm playing next to Martinez of I wouldn't have thought. Or not as much anyway. That's my thoughts. I thought the guy that rung in talks what I thought was a very good call. I mean, he was he was swimming against the tide because everybody was for Maguire gone, as were the presenters. And I think the guy put a, a good case up. I thought it was a good call, that. Really good call. Had he been doing call of the day, as he used to, which I used to win viewers pretty regularly, I'd give it to him. I thought it was a great call, that.